So it started about 12 years ago. My wife got me a hat for Christmas. She wasn't sure if I was going to like it. I took a big liking to it, started wearing it everywhere, except in the dining room. And one day, obviously, I was in the kitchen, and I came out to the dining room forgetting that I had it on my head. And one of my customers was sitting at the first table, looked at me and went, oh, the chef in the hat. And I went, marketing, marketing, marketing. <laughs> so I kept the hat, and I've been ever since the chef in the hat. When I first came to Seattle, I came here for dinner. The owner told me this was for sale. And I came back and purchased a restaurant with a partner. The name came from a Northern Irish fable. I read the fable. I liked it a lot. I thought it was really funny. Decided, why not? Let's keep the same name. The atmosphere of Rovers is supposed to be, you're coming into my house. And the whole ambiance is supposed to be warm. Obviously, very professional service is what we try to definitely give you, same as the food part. But the idea is not to feel any restraint from that. You, you're not supposed to feel it. You're supposed to have a great time the whole time you're here, and everything should go smoothly. It's always been an enigma to me that people always want to say, what kind of food do you serve? My, my first inclination would be to say good food, and hopefully nothing but good food. The description of the food we do is probably... I w We've called it Northwest Contemporary with a French accent, since obviously I can't get rid of my accent. My kind of cooking is definitely French-oriented. If you take that and you import it to the Northwest 20 years later after cooking with all the farmers, all local products, really, really, really high emphasis on organic, sustainable, and local and seasonal agriculture. That's what we focus on all the time. So it's not in season, you're not going to see it here. It's, it's a gorgeous thing to be able to have the privilege to be in a kitchen and go, what do we have to cook with? Okay, you know, and make something. I mean, to me, that's the coolest part of my job. I love that part of my job. I get a big kick out of that. That's the only reason I keep doing a, you know, a 50-seat restaurant after 20 years, 17 tables. It's really not, um, you know, it's all about at least getting your kicks regularly of being able to just cook this. You know, just have this creation going with all those beautiful ingredients.